Hello and welcome to a video I've really been looking forward to doing for about a month now. Uh, this has been sat around in my house and I finally decided to crack it open uh, and that is of course the Final Fantasy VII Polygon figure collection. Now this specifically is a case of them I believe it's called um, which is eight boxes so we'll take a look at a second in a second because the box will actually tell you what's inside or what to expect anyway. Uh, we got legal stuff here We've got the end here that does indeed confirm this is Square Enix. Now, I bought this from the Square Enix store. I'll leave a link um, below. You can probably buy it from other places as well, but I thought, well, it was a decently priced thing on there. And on the side, we actually have a look at the Polygon figures. Uh, so these are modelled, obviously, after the PlayStation 1 models, as you've just seen in Final Fantasy VII. Um, that's been ported to every other thing, but not to be confused with the remake, obviously. So there's seven characters here. I hear there is a secret eighth character though. Not sure what the chances are of pulling that in like one box. Probably not very high. But from left to right, we'll quickly have a look at what we got a chance of pulling. We've got Red 13, Tifa, Aerith, Cloud, Reno, Sephiroth, and Barrett. Uh, now, honestly, in terms of these figures, I would quite happily have any of these. Um, I mean, obviously, an, you know, a full set will be awesome. But, I mean, I'd really like a Cloud, and I'd really like a Sephiroth. I think they'd go together well as a display thing. I love Barrett. I, I love all of them, honestly. There's none of these that I'd be sad to open up, which is why I bought the case, honestly. So I thought, well, you know, I I'm happy with the results, and I've got a friend I can give my doubles to, and that's the back. And, yeah, honestly, it's just, like, a really sort of simplistic, minimalist, uh, black tome that just says Final Fantasy VII. And honestly, I'm a little bit nervous of opening this because I really like this box. It's just a super nice box. Anyway, I'm gonna go um, remove the cellar tape stuff and I'll be right back. All right, the tape is off. So, those of you with keen eyes will notice actually that there is a kind of um, fold line. You can do down here and there and there and kind of tear it off. Um, however, because I really like this box, as I've mentioned, I don't I don't really want to do that. So I think I've likely opened it already. I think I'm just going to open it the boring way. Uh, oh, and inside... Oh, no, I thought there was something written there then. There is not. So inside we have eight boxes, which does mean I'll at least get one double unless we somehow pull that secret 8th character. I don't know what the 8th character is, and I've specifically not looked. Um, I don't want to spoil myself, basically. So, hey, there we are. So we've got, ah, oh, maybe it'll say on the other side. So we've got Cloud, Barrett, Tifa, and Aerith. They don't seem to have odds. I know some blind boxes. Um, I'm presuming that's just, like, the default cover thing. That doesn't actually tell us we've just pulled Cloud, does it? Um, no, that that would be weird, and I don't think they'd sell very much. But yeah, this is a quick look at the box. Again, we get a look at the um, figures as we did before. And it's got one of those tear things, so I'm just going to go ahead and tear, I suppose. Rip and tear. Uh, wrong game, but, you know, it, it still stands. Oh dear, uh, I've done that thing again, where sort of it curves a little bit. Uh, right, let's... Okay, uh, and I think that is done. So, flip this back. Who will the first one be? I don't know if there's assembly with these or whatever. Ooh. 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 We got weights. Oh, is this Barrett? Okay, these are actually heavy. These are like genuinely heavy bits of, it feels like maybe metal or something. And we have... Our hidden thing. Ooh, is this an assembly one? Do we assemble it? We do not indeed. But, hey, there we go. Look at that. So, our first pull is a cloud. I'll go open that up and I'll be right back. All right, I have returned. Uh, so, I opened up the pack of these and I think I've worked it out. I think these are to weigh down the pack. So, you can't tell which one is like Barrett. Because, obviously, Barrett's going to be a lot wider or whatever. And, yeah, they're just like nondescript plastic black things, which is weird. I guess I'll keep them around. Um, yeah, that, that's that's a bit of a weird one, not gonna lie. But yeah, anyway, 
We have cloud. My god, this is really nice. So, as with all my figure reviews and stuff, stick around till the very end because I'll do a small montage of pictures. Just so you guys can see them in slightly better detail, maybe. Uh, I would drop the camera, but I'd have to do it like eight different times and it'd just be a pain. So, here is Cloud in all of his polygon glory. I love like the arms and stuff. We get his, uh, his like metal thing on his left hand, which just looks like a slightly chunkier, weird fist thing. As you can see, there's no, there's no like hands or whatever. Uh, the feet, uh, oh, I, I just, I love the polygon aesthetic. Like his hair is really well made because it's clearly, you know, in the polygon style and stuff, but it does genuinely look really cool anyway. Like, honestly, I'm thoroughly impressed with this figure. Now, it is quite small, obviously, like, that's my index finger, which isn't really a measurement, because everyone's fingers are different sizes. But, that is cool. That is really cool. Alright, I'm going to go put him next to his stack of weird plastic things. I'm going to move all the packaging to the side, and we'll open up another one. So, if and when I do pull doubles, I'm not going to open them up uh, out of the like packaging and stuff, just because, as I mentioned, I have... Okay, so that one's got Cloud on the front. I think they all come with Cloud on the front. It just so happens we got Cloud in our first one. Um, but yeah, I, I've, I've told a friend they may have the doubles, so I don't see any point in opening them up, because we already took a look at them. But I would be surprised if this was a Cloud again. Uh, oh! We got uh, we got some more of these. We've only got three this time, which makes me think it's a bit of a chunkier one than Cloud because he came with five. I don't know. Honestly, genuinely, it would be cool if these had a use, but I I don't I don't imagine they actually do. Right. So let's put that to the side. Uh, I should angle the camera down a little bit, shouldn't I? So you guys can see me opening the box up itself. Uh, right. The next. Oh, yo! Okay, wow, okay. <laughs> so I started this video by literally saying, okay, right, I, I want Cloud and Sephiroth. They're, they're the, like, duo I want. Um, I don't know, anything else is, like, great. And, oh, man. Yo. So uh, Sephiroth didn't actually come in an outer packaging, but I suppose because Cloud is, like, smaller or whatever. Oh, my God, look at that. That is so cool. So his like little pointy feet and his just like square, his, his square jacket and stuff. Oh, his pauldrons are super, super blocky. Uh, and the hair yet again, it's like it is obviously polygon and stuff, but like it looks really good. Also the face, I gotta say, the face here and Cloud's face are both really nice. Like, oh my God, this, this is really cool. Ah, uh, I like genuinely. Ah, uh, I, I, I wish more like companies and stuff would do this. Obviously, I know not every game series has like a polygon representation or whatever. But you know, it's. Um, I think didn't Virtua Fighter release a fig art? I think of uh, some of their fighters in polygon style. And I almost bought one, despite the fact of literally. Well, no, I've played, like, a little bit of Virtua Fighter 5, but I almost bought it just for the blocky aesthetic. Um, obviously, I didn't, but, you know. Right, third one. So, ah, now, I've got the, now I've got the duo, like, I don't know, man. I, I'd quite like um, Tifa and Barrett to make, like, the classic lineup. Oh, we got some blocks again. Is this another cloud? Possibly. It's feeling kind of thin, but we've not opened enough to work out what it is. Wait, what? Okay. It's, wow, it's very small. No, this isn't Cloud at all. This eee, is everyone's favourite flower girl. Let's put that to the side. Man, she actually may be slimmer than Cloud. Let's uh, free her from her plastic prison. And take a look at Aerith. Hang on. Uh, e, there we go. Nice. Oh man, that's really, that's really cute as well. Ah, oh, th these are done so well. That is really good. 
Ah, oh, and you got the hair ribbon and the hair again just looks Ah, oh, that that is awesome. Take a look at the other side as well. Her bangs and stuff come out really great. She's got her triangular boobs, which uh, I'm looking forward to seeing on Tifa if and when we manage to get her. That is ah, oh, that is great. Nice. All right, I'll put her next to Sephiroth because. Um, from my understanding, I think they have quite a good relationship in Final Fantasy VII, um, and only good things happen between them. Right, let's open up the fourth box. Uh, actually, you know what? Reno. I'd quite like Reno. Um, oh, well, uh, as I said at the start, honestly, it is really difficult to be like, I want this one next, because I, I just I want all of them, to be honest, to be completely honest with you. Got some more plasticky things. I'm not going to count the plastic things because maybe that gives them away a little bit. Oh, I'm feeling a plastic outline, so this may be cloud again. If so, I'm going to take a quick look and then I'll put him back in the box uh, to give to my friend because uh, I, I don't need two clouds. And you know, it's it's nicer knowing it goes to someone who will appreciate it. Uh, oh no! Hey! There we go, all right. So far, halfway through the box and we got no doubles. That is pretty, actually, let me go free her, two seconds. All right, we're back with best girl. Yes, best girl, fight me in the comments. So we have Tifa uh, looking awesome. Really liking, um, forgot how red she was. Did she, I guess she had, it's been ages since I've played 7. Uh, and indeed, we do have them triangular boobs. Look at that. Uh, let's look around this. Ah, oh, she's got the tied up thing as well. That's, oh man. This is amazing. So I'm, I'm being like delicate and slow with these. Just so you guys can see just how polygonal these characters are. Because they are all flat planes, basically. I mean, apart from a certain part of Tifa, if you know what I mean, that ain't flat. It's triangular. Um, and yeah, yet again, a really good face sculpt, I think. Um, her hair, I feel like her hair is slightly lighter than it should be. Although, hmm, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Um, yeah, I don't know, let me know in the comments about that one. But yeah, that is, that is Tifa. I'll put her next to the man she was meant for. That's another one, fight me in the comments for. Um, I think Tifa and Cloud make the best couple. Uh, part, partly because I really like Advent Children and that was kind of like the, I mean, not really employed, but you know, it was, it was there. Right, so we've got four of them. So what's left is Barrett, Reno and Red 13. Nice. Do you know, actually, I, I'd quite like Red 13, but apart from that, I wouldn't be distraught. Uh, well, I mean, I would be distraught if the rest were doublers, because uh, I, I kind of want all of them, but I don't know. We'll see. Right, next up. Actually, yeah, no, no, I, I would like Barrett just to complete the sort of the crew. Uh, oh, got some more plastic things. My God, these plastic tokens. I'm sure I can use them somewhere. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. Like a tabletop or pen and paper game would work well. I guess it'd be like, oh, this is your token or something. Poker chips. We <gasps> yay! We have the best uh, doggy boy. Right, I'm gonna free him again, BRB. All right, there we go. Look at that. <sighs> He's so detailed and also like a little bit more angular than everyone else. I think because there's technically more to like work with, if that makes sense. Because um, it's not just like a, a humanoid character. Oh man, just, ah, oh, that's so cool. So we got his polygonal tail, of course, as well. Uh, and round to the side, we've got his uh, tassely things. And of course, his scarred eye as well. Man, this is really cool. So, uh, as it happens, I've got a Play Arts Kai Red 13 I bought like 12 years ago or something. So I'm going to put him right next to that one because that is, oh, it's so cute as well. 
Holy crap. Ah, I'm I'm really enjoying this. I'm so I'm so glad I bought this now. Um it is it is a little bit expensive, I will say. I paid including shipping and stuff near 60 pounds, which sounds a lot. I mean, that's almost like 70 dollars, I think. But keep in mind, I looked into um buying one or two of these separate boxes and they work out at about 10 pounds each anyway. So basically, for £60, you're getting eight of them instead of ten you get individually. And you get a really cool box. I know I know, no one buys these things for the boxes, but, you know. So far, we haven't had one doubler. I wonder if a box is seeded not to have doublers? I say this as we open up the next person. Who <gasps> Yo! Another non-double. Okay. Right, um, I'm going to be able to free him easily. So the the reason I jump cut when they got plastic around them is because I don't want to, like, potentially snap off any of their things by being too rough, so... Oh my god, he is a block of plastic. That is... Hang on, let's, uh... For comparison, that's like two clouds there. Ah... Oh. That's so cool. Right, hang on. Let's put Claude back gently. Yo, the man, Barrett. Oh, man, look how chunky he is. Jesus Christ. He's got a machine gun arm. Uh, oh, man, his shorts, obviously. Yo. Also, his face, yet again, is incredible. That is a really good-looking face sculpt, like... Angular as all hell, angry, and just wide, incredibly wide. Look at those feet. Those feet are like half the size of Cloud's torso. Uh, right, I'm going to put him to the corner there. As I mentioned, obviously, I am going to be doing that like photo shoot thing at the end. So if you can't see these in very good detail, uh, stick around for that. It'll be like 30 seconds of just random shots of them. With some music I made, like, ten years ago or something. Uh, fun fact, it also featured in a Friends movie compilation thing. Oh, I was like, yo, wait, are there two things? Sorry, this is at the bottom of the box. Uh, right. Our penultimate one. Now, this has the chance to be a double, maybe. Uh, you guys may be able to see through the plastic, actually. The bubble wrap? I don't know. Uh, oh, okay, we do indeed have a first double, which is Cloud. Let me just double check off camera. Okay, yes, cool. Um, I was just double checking it wasn't some kind of weird variant, or like I was missing something on it, but no. Um, so, as I mentioned, I'm going to put that to the side. That is going to a friend. Right. So, we have one more character to pull, which is Reno. Now, I'd really like Reno as a complete set, because we're basically, you know, um, I was going to say 90% of the way there, but I don't think that works out, because it's 6 out of 7. Uh, mathematicians, tell me in the comments, what percentage are we at at the moment? So, this is our final box. Now, this could be another dupe, which isn't the end of the world, honestly. Like, Reno's cool, but I've got, I've got the gang, basically. I've got the gang and Sephiroth. Like... That, you know, I mean, because Re Rina's kind of... I mean, uh, you know. Right. Let's see. Who... <gasps> yes! Holy shit, we've done it, boys! And girls. Holy crap! Okay, right. Let's, let's open him up. Okay, cool. So, like... So, I think the eighth character, as in, like, the hidden eighth thing, is like there's a chance in every box, and if not, you'll get one of the other random assigned things. So I guess they are seeded, which I'm very happy with. Ah, look at that. Reno in his business suit. He's got his ponytail. Ah, I love the back thing of his arms because they, they just they look ridiculous. But oh man, he's got the skull, he's got the shades. Yeah, boy, he's looking really smooth. Honestly, thoroughly, thoroughly happy with this. Right, 
I'm going to drop the angle now of my camera so we can get a better look at actually these figures and stuff and I'll be right back. Alright, I am back and I've arranged them all out like that. I've also got a massive stack of these black things to the side that uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with but I might as well keep them. And of course I've got my double in the back. But yeah, so, oh man, I've got to say I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with this set. Um, I'm super happy that a box seems to basically give you the full set and a chance at the like rare one. I still don't know what the rare one is. If you guys want to look it up, you're welcome to. I, I may look it up. Um, if I do, I may flash it on screen. So close your eyes now and it's gone. So yeah, uh, honestly, these are amazing. So I will say, obviously, they are quite small. That's that's maybe my only criticism that like they feel, especially the girls and Cloud uh, and kind of Reno, they feel a little bit delicate. Um, you don't, you know, I mean, obviously you wouldn't give these to like kids or anything anyway, because uh, I'd be thoroughly surprised if kids had any kind of nostalgia for a game released in 1997. Um, although it has been ported a lot, so I guess you, you could grow up with Seven uh, easily. But yeah, but honestly, I I really love the concept of these. Now, I, I said the thing earlier that I kind of wish more games or companies did this, but honestly, on reflection, I think the polygon look is part of what give Final Fantasy Seven its charm. So I think it's one of those things that this set could only really work with a handful of things, and I think Final Fantasy VII is maybe the best example, because uh, they ah, they just look so charming. Like, I really, really love this set. I'm going to try and work out a nice display uh, for everything, kind of put them together, because ah, it, it's just, it's really, really unique. Um, if you have, you know, if you have interest in getting these, I mean, honestly, I'd probably recommend just getting the box. I know it's quite an quite an investment or whatever, but if you buy these boxes singularly, I mean, you're not guaranteed to get anything. And if you want like Cloud and Sephiroth, you could end up spending like sixty or seventy pounds anyway, just buying singles uh, from various boxes. So, yeah, overall, this has been a really good investment. Uh, that they're, they're kind of like curious little things. They're uh, you know nice conversation starters. I'm really grateful, like, if you've got a game-based display or whatever, because this is... Oh, it's so good. It's it's something I didn't know I wanted until I saw it. Uh, so, yeah, so stick around. I will be doing that uh, quick photo montage thing at the end, uh, just to give you guys slightly closer looks at all these figures. And that wraps it up. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll leave a playlist to other, like, videos and stuff. I will be making more videos in the future. And until next time, goodbye.